Five, four. <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kev on stage. She. That chick, that chick. Welcome to another podcast. That was the right back. Back to that It's Angel's birthday episode. Shout out to Angel for me. Morning, one. Happy birthday, Angel. Show her some love in the comments. She turned a big 4 1 over the weekend. 4 1. God dang. We did a lot together this weekend. Oh, my God. As a family unit. Man. The Unruly's. We were together. We were together. Being unruly. We were down at uh, the place we were. Mm -hmm. Very Mm -hmm. nice. Celebrating Melissa's birthday. Yes. On Friday. Mm -hmm. Uh, We had a great time twerking. Mm -hmm. Commenced. Kevin broke his pants. I to broke pull, my pants. Pulled down his entire pants with I children stand in, in the room. Solidarity with Chandler Moore. Put the picture up, Josh. Yes, I got I, twerked on. I couldn't believe when you put that. I was like, "What does this have to? do? Who's Chandler Moore?" Then I saw the picture of his wife bending over twerking. And I said, "People really mad about this." Mm-hmm. Because he sang worship music. What the, the man? What y'all think Children's Those Church come from? Worship singers are the biggest hoes, first of all. <laughs> oh, and I when I say hoes, I mean hoe in the whole way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the fact that he is married, you, it's only going to What's be. What's the point? Right? You can't have it both ways. You and can't tell me to wait to marriage. And then at my wedding reception, when I done, I done did my stuff. Right. No, you we here, worship leader. Think of the children. You think of the children. Right. I'm thinking about that Coochie. 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 El Coochella. Not, I'm thinking about Coochella. Me. Coochella. That is not my Stop responsibility. It. I worship the Lord. I, then, then I worship, you know what I'm we saying? We're not making, we are not here making Coochella. 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 Who was in there? It's a whole weekend of sex induced euphoria. Just right there. This is what, Just. That's what your worship leader is doing. Yeah, he really did do that oh, in that picture. You, you think Fred Hammond and them wasn't taking work down? Well, they're not work, but their wives? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I no mean. <laughs> yeah, listen to this album. Get this. Yeah, get these. What get these, is happening? These Psalms 32 pumps. At, well, listen, this is why the music department always has to get prayed for when the preacher comes that's in, when true. the visiting preacher. Let's We're going to pray for the. Hey, no. The in the yeah. corner. The whole day yeah, praying over it, the minute. It, the coach smell is emanating from <laughs> the organ, from the drums. The visiting pastor is like, God, what? Uh, is there a strip club over there? Listen, they if know. you grew up in church, you know what Angel. I am telling the truth. Saying is the absolute truth. You was on that organ. You was on them drums. You was on that bass. Mm-hmm. You're elevated usually. Mm-hmm. Literally, you're sitting I above. Lifted. Mm-hmm. High and lifted. Mm-hmm. Uh, the musicians were taking down work. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, y'all yeah. see, I grew up in church. We went to them conventions. What you think we got to go to midnight service for? Sin happening it, in the hotel. Uh, uh, yes. That the church convention is at. Listen. Stellar mm-hmm. Awards, sex awards. It's the it's like you. It's It was like. The gospel of, of Freaknik. Yes. You knew, oh you knew what was about to pop off. Absolutely. Convocation. Contraception. It's, <laughs> oh, right sex there. is happening. Why do you yes. think they just rent a hotel? It's just Y'all just keep it all <laughs> yes, up in one right. place. We at least don't want you to be late to rehearsal. Floor. Just keep the Coachella on one floor. Man, yes. let's not stand on ceremony, Mr. Oh, Wayne. Man. Yeah, yes. The children's church is full. <laughs> and who made these children? <laughs> I, done been to, I done told y'all many a time I done been to more baby showers than weddings. <laughs> <laughs> more. <laughs> That's true. Now that yeah, I'm man, my cousin back in uh, El Paso was on the drums. Mm-hmm. Pastor went, you know, to preach. You know, all the musicians leave, usually. Mm -hmm. Then the organist comes back first when he starts hooping. Mm -hmm. He would go back to our Sunday school room. We had, like, two small houses on the church's property Uh that we used for Sunday school. During service, have sex while the pastor was preaching. Yeah. Come back and play the drums for altar call. I can completely believe it. This is why I avoided church boys. Because I was like, I want to try to remain holy. Church boys invented <laughs> F-boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is the truth. Melissa said that on the Love Hour a couple of weeks ago. The original F-boys. Is the church Because we done, we mixed, God, God told me he did. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. With my hands <laughs> lifted up. Hey, 
And my mouth filled with praise. <laughs> my mouth oh, wow, filled wow, with wow. pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the heart of the, why you think all the teens is always crying? Why? Because they're like, I did it again. Man, I used to host them lockouts. I could never go to sleep. <laughs> oh no! You oh, can't, you get a lock in and you go to sleep. Oh, lockout, lock in. <laughs> you can't go to sleep. Why? You gotta. I see you. I, I smell see. Set. Like that. Who is it? That's hunching. <laughs> That's hunching. <laughs> Clo- and it's, it's, you clothes burning at uh, at least. Oh, you man. rubbing. That- you rubbing them clothes. That hunt, polyester? Hunt, hunt, hunt. Getting into it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't understand yeah, what people man. expect, you know? Like, listen, think about it. I don't know if y'all watched Married at First Sight. Chris Williams was a church boy. Mm. Yeah. Every time Paige, he would do something wrong with her, what he said, you know what I'm saying? I need you to pray for me. Yes. Oh. You want me to pray? Oh. I've been practicing praying for my husband all my life. Yeah, and next thing you know, he's speaking in tongues on that labia. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking to that labia. Speaking to speaking. Mm-hmm. Speaking to speaking. <laughs> and she's <laughs> testing the mic. Yeah, singing to the <laughs> mic. <laughs> she's doing all the things. But listen, what do we know? We just grew up in the church. Listen, let me tell you what. Jonathan McReynolds is my boy. Love him. I'm not speaking about him negatively. This is a, he is a true friend of mine. We beef a lot. If that man wanted to take down 38 church girls in every city from sea to shining sea, he no could. No problem. Single, tall, good it, shape, it plays can basketball. Sing. Plays the guitar. Plays the guitar mm-hmm. and the keys and the organ. Got a Grammy? Get the yammies. Get the yammies. Oh, my Grammy God. How many yammies go- Jonathan look, could take down work in every zip Why code? Why is work being used so consistently today, man? It just, it just worked for you. Man, and this, I pray for him. You uh, out here single? I know his DMs are. Oh, man. Uh, they got to be It ain't nothing but laughs, every, scarves, communion cracker, and invitations to a different time type of he, worship. he posts something about what the Lord had told him, I'm like, well... There you go. There's there's another church girl now just fallen. She's fallen. She's, She's like, oh, God. <laughs> Praise and worship leader, that's my type. That's yeah. my type. <laughs> that, no, no, that's my type. <laughs> Jesse Wu said that we want to know what get me moist between my legs and my butt. Watching a man worship and cry out for God. That's, I'm telling you, that's why I told Marcus to stop praying out loud in church. You shut it up. <laughs> You shut He's it up. Six five and praying. And you yeah. put your hands down too. But yeah, that's what I said. Put and your hands down. Big and strong mm-hmm. with the worship. He's yeah. already like seated on top of everybody oh, just right. by standing there. Oh. oh, you want to get emotional for the Lord? Nigga, wipe your eyes. <laughs> wipe your eyes. Watch a game on your cell phone. Watch a game. That's why I'm praying for my boy Alec Walls. Paco. He young. I don't know who this is. Singing this Alec oh, Wall, the youngest wall. Yes, the tall one. The he got baby. tattoos and oh, yeah. worship. It's oh. ridiculous. And Y'all like, better keep him lifted. Keep him lifted. He tooting them things up. Mm-hmm. If You know what I'm saying, Paco, I love you. We got to keep him lifted. Yeah. Keep him lifted. Yeah. Because y'all church girls, listen, y'all be trying to be saved until you do the right thing. Why you want to give your body up? What? Like, what are you talking about? The church girls, they see worship, they're like, because we're want, horny. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do we want to give our body up? We are looking for the excuse. And luckily, y'all give it to us. Oh, you love great. You love Jesus great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. Pull it out. Let's enter, see. Enter in. Yeah. Come oh, on. enter in. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of praying. Okay. And that has not We're stopped. We're horny. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Why do we give we it up? We know that dog on Song of Solomon. That's the original Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes. If we understood Greek is all that dust down, that was, and listen, that garden he was talking about ain't got no bell peppers in it. Uh, and now, Solomon was not talking about, he was not no green thumb. <laughs> I mean, two in the pink, one in the stink. What oh, in wow. the He was out here trying out new stuff. I mean, wow. He had 150 concubines. 150. <laughs> That man, David, <laughs> David <laughs> was wild. He was like, he said, you. ooh, girl, <laughs> come you on. thick. I'm married. Send your husband to war. Front line. Yeah, Put him did. first. No he sword. <laughs> <laughs> no sword. Just no sword. Out there. Get that. Uriah, you, you buy her. Get out of here. Bye. I'm going to take your wife down. And he was a man after God's own heart. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite Bible stories is Nathan talking about David. 
as a story. Mm-hmm. And they being like, that is wow. Who would do that? He's like, nigga, you. <laughs> this is about you. You did that. This is you personally. What? Me? me? <laughs> nigga, the story's about you. You didn't even recognize it. Uh-huh. Oh, no. I didn't, I, that's me, David. Dang, yeah. okay. I, yeah, that, you, okay, you right. That's mm-hmm. dang, that is my bad. Dang, dang, that's my that's my bad. Be like, when you hear ah. the story form, it sounds worse than when you're doing it. Right. Ah. Are you sure? You sure I did that? Okay, I guess I did. Oh. Yeah. Change the title of this episode, Josh, to Worship Leaders Are Hoes. That's what With they are. E-A-U-H. Yeah, spell mm-hmm. it like they you. do down and in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. That's a more clickable title oh, than what yeah. we have. Oh, yeah, they, they do be. And they you can tell they come to church with the hoeing on their mind. They're not there. I mean, yes, they want to play for the Lord. But yeah. they they be coming in there looking good, smelling good, wearing their scent bird Absolutely. and whatnot. You know what I'm they saying? They be on that scent bird. They be like, they ah, let me put on these luxury brands for these hoes. You know what I'm saying? And they do. And we be like, mm, you smell good. <laughs> What's your name? Mm. Mm. Now, y'all, I love me some because I do like to smell good as well, and I love luxury scents. I, mm-hmm. Now, I'm not bougie in a lot of ways, but when it comes to the fragrances, Angel likes the Gucci. She likes the Tom yes, Ford. She, she likes the Versace, the Prada, okay? And Scentbird is like, girl, you could do all that and not, you know, spend all your got dang on money. <laughs> Let me tell you. So I have um, three scent birds that I have at the house now, and they're all scents that I had never tried before. But based off of the quiz I took, they were able to pair me with scents that I would like because I like sweet. I like sometimes I like a little floral and I love clean. I don't like citrus, though. So they sent me scents that I Absolutely adore. And not only that, I'm able to travel with them because obviously we're traveling a lot with the Mm. tour. Me and Marcus are about to go on our anniversary trip. So trying to take a full bottle of a Tom Ford 300 and them Tom Ford is over $300 every bottle. Um, Trying to travel with that and being afraid that it's going to break on the airline. I don't have time for that. So having the little uh, bottle that they sent me that's a 30 day use and it was only like $16 for the month. Come on. This is like the best thing ever okay so Simbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands it's a flexible subscription so you can skip any month without penalties Simbird lets you choose a new design of fragrance to try each month for just $16 every month you get to pick what you want to receive so there's no surprises they have perfumes colognes and a lot of unisex options choose the perfume you want to try and they'll send you a 30 day supply and with an exclusive offer for just our listeners you'll get 30% off your first month today that's only $11 mm-hmm. for your first fragrance. Oh, wow. Go to Scentbird.com and use our code SK, SK for 30% off your first month. Again, that's S-C-E-N-T Bird.com for you to try your first perfume or cologne for just $11. Sign on. Smell amazing. Amen. All right. <clears throat> to the topic at hand. All right. The turkey leg hut, mm-hmm. which is high on my list of restaurants to try in Houston, got into a little bit of a uh, hot water mm. over the weekend because they introduced a um, dress code. I'm going to read it to you. Josh, put it here. Boop. All bo- Number one, all body parts must be completely covered. Mm. All cleavage, breasts, thighs, and buttocks must be completely covered. The only thing naked here is turkey legs and chicken wings. Number two, no swimwear of any kind is allowed. This is the heart of third ward, not the beach. Number three, no exposed undergarments. No exposed undergarments allowed. This includes sports bras, bras, panties, anything resembling these items. This also includes white tanks for men. Number four, no no house attire allowed. No wave caps, no bonnets, do-rags, bandanas, house shoes, or shower caps allowed. We want you to feel at home, but this is not your home. Number five, no excessively revealing clothing. This includes all distressed, distressed or ripped clothing. Shorts and shirts must cover your entire top and bottom. Number six, no obscene language or baggy clothing. No attire with obscene language, offensive graphics, no excessively baggy or sagging pants. Pass, pants must be worn at the natural waistline. Turkey, turkey hut, turkey leg hut. They have since turned their comments off. Of course. Uh, on a lot of their things, not all of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they turned some of them back on. 
But the first post after this drop, they turned them off. Uh, they're still off on some posts, but not now. Angel, what are your uh, thoughts? <clears throat> I mean, um, I I think some of it was, um, it sounds like my computer is getting ready to take off and lift <laughs> off as a plane. I, I was like, what is happening? Um, <clears throat> I think some of the rules are just a tad excessive. Um, uh, it's called turkey leg hut. The finest turkey legs. Though, it, it, it is, I know, but I can understand why maybe somebody might have on ripped jeans. You know what I'm saying? Because that is actually like a thing. Fashion style. Yes. I can understand how you might see someone's bra strap here or there. <laughs> like I, so some things seem excessive, but I do know most restaurants have some sort of dress code. Even McDonald's be like, no shoes, no shirt, no service. Yes. But this, the specificity of some of the things, it's just like, okay, well, maybe, you know, like there are certain restaurants that don't have to worry about that type of attire yeah, because of <clears throat> what they're called and what the appearance of the place is. But when you see Turkey Hut and you see two people drawn as cartoons on the sign beside it, you might not be thinking, <laughs> well, let me put on... My finest leisure wear, mm -hmm. my lounge wear, uh, it just doesn't um, ring to me like, okay, this dress code is really particular for this place. So let me pull myself. Yeah. But I understand having, I understand for your establishment, <clears throat> having some boundaries and standards. It just seems, it just seems so excessive well i see some i'm looking at the instagram i i see and i see some uh of our patreon is from houston and she was or somebody was saying i can see if it was a man or woman that the issue is they have a club lounge type of vibe i'm getting i haven't been there mm -hmm. uh they have a club lounge type of type of vibe mm -hmm. and now they want to be suddenly upscale um this is my thought josh i'm going to send you this picture this link Okay, and I want you to put this up in here. Okay, uh, not now, but in the actual oh, okay. episode. Oh, I was like, that sounded uh, like now. <laughs> I will wear a three-piece suit, hard bottoms. I'll take a photo of it. A monocle, a top hat. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I will wear an overcoat. I will. I will arrive by horse and carriage. Yes, if that's what it takes. See, you have the turkey leg hut. Is that is you understand that, me? Is that how you feel? I have planned on being in you know some uh, Sweat above the knee shorts because I'm thotting all summer. Thotting all summer. ATK baby, we're having above the knee summer. But if the turkey leg hut requires me to wear suspenders and a zoot suit this and a do. fur coat, pinstriped, pinstriped, while Houston is is regrettably humid, a thousand degrees plus humid, thousand and humid. This is what I would do. Because the turkey leg, Angel, let me show it to you. I don't know if you've seen it. When they pick it up, the, the bone come up. The bone come off. And the, and, the, and the meat stay down. Okay. Okay, now watch it. This is in slow-mo. You see now? He, he done picked it up. I see. And the meat still in on the pan. Mm -hmm. I will do whatever it takes. Oh, wow. You yeah. hear me? Yeah. Black and white, salt and pepper, hard bottoms. Oh, wow. Lapel. That's crazy. A tie, uh, 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 tie bar. I believe you. Look how clean that bow is. Josh, when that we go to good. Houston, this is a bit. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to stick beside him. You going to stick beside Turkey him. Turkey leg I hut. Fit. I know y'all in a lot. Listen, single me out, Josh. <laughs> Turkey leg hut. I know the people don't talk crazy about you. As my good friend Angel said, they don't talk cash crazy about y'all. Cash crazy. They done posted memes about y'all. Let me let you know from man to business. I'm going to stick beside y'all. I'm going to wear my three-piece suit button. I'm going to get me a special one in y'all brand colors. You're really going to do I'm this. I'm coming in with a tuxedo. Order me a top hat. Biggest the thing monogram. around. We're going to have the monogram. I'm going to have the monogram shirt, the name inside. If that's what y'all require. Is now, what y'all got to do, y'all got to do your part. I'm, when y'all bring my turkey, I don't care if I got a suit on eating with my hands. I know that's unusual to be dressed <laughs> to the nine to eat, eat turkey legs. I'm eating with my hands. I don't care. I respect the rules. 
But y'all better deliver on this turkey. That better be the best turkey. Because I'm a turkey leg connoisseur. Right now, Disneyland got the best turkey leg they going. They really do. They do. The Even price of admission to Disneyland is worth And then the turkey leg down there, $18.50. It surely is. And all my kids wanted their own. Yeah. Well, well, that's what you have in your family. They know you have the 1850. They do. My kids know. I'm going to give you a little piece and then you stop talking to me. Listen, <laughs> I'm, me and, and nobody even finished it all but me. Turkey leg is a lot of meat for it's, one person. It's huge. It is a, a them some thick turkey. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to stick beside y'all. By the way, I, I my kids don't ever flex much. But we was down in a pretty expensive hotel for the weekend. Mm-hmm. Cousins flew in. And we had went to dinner um, because we, you know, just get to see our people like that. And my my Zay, uh, my son Zay gonna text me. They're asking for room service. It had to be done. <laughs> All them kids, I'm talking about. They was oh, just. Oh wow! He said it had cheeseburger, to be done. <laughs> salmon, ice cream, salmon. So ah, uh, and low key, my kids. Bless God, I am so grateful. They are pretty well behaved. Mm-hmm. And they don't become like as bougie as I am, but it's slowly happening. Oh, it's oh, gonna I, happen. I, I knew it when when Zay ordered uh, a surf and turf <laughs> at a breakfast buffet, <laughs> and they didn't have surf and turf. He was he, like, "But I know you can. Make I know it. you can make it. I saw some shrimp over in the cold bar. If you could just put that in the pan, mm-hmm. and saute just saute a little bit. I see a little bit of garlic and butter. Listen. You can just throw that in on top. Let me tell you what we've been doing lately. Me and Melissa get you know our room usually a sweet of something like that when we're on vacation when we're in hotels working josh and angel can tell you nice hotel but ain't the best hotel in the city mm-hmm. um they unless, nice ones though. They there's some pretty nice ones good. so joe has never complained isaiah he is me you know, younger version of me oh. they got a robe on in that ho- they got a robe in there he comes he's out putting it on that's why he likes um the ritz is his favorite line of hotels so oh. when we get to the hotel for melissa's birthday this weekend we get to our room because the, the bellman had brought the luggage up and then the boys take theirs to their room. And Joe's like, wow, this is nice. What's our room? 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I said, oh. Yeah, he's you feeling upset? some type of way. You, did you, you ain't got no money though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, walk yourself down to that two doubles <laughs> and look outside the window. <laughs> you ain't got into no, the courtyard. Into the courtyard, <laughs> Marriott. <laughs> No, Joe, the, the, on the last day, uh, you all weren't down yet. And so when we got down there, they were down there waiting. I was like, where are your parents? They were like, we don't know. I said, they're not at the other restaurant. And they, they were like, no. I said, well, do y'all want to eat there or here? Joe was like, I want to eat here in this restaurant. I said, I haven't eaten here either. Let's do it. He was ready. And then Melissa came down there. And she was like, we would have to wait, Joe. I was like, I tried, Joe. <laughs> I tried. I wanted the bougie breakfast too. I wanted to see what they were doing in the kitchen. I had enough uh, burritos. Yeah. But listen, I, I, I back to the turkey leg hut. This is on my list of restaurants to try. Mm. Pat and them went down there. I want to try it during the pandemic. I want to go there I in Houston. Like, turkey leg hut. Wait a minute, are we it's going black to owned. Yeah, the, you, you black not owned. see the black people on the poster. I mean, the, on the the thing, the black, sign. Single me out, Josh. Again. Turkey Leg Hut owners. Kev on Stage Studios is producing a food show. Yes. We would love to come in our, I mean, our Sunday best. Angel. Women, is it the summertime? It's the summertime. It's August. Oh, I want you to wear I, stockings and a slip. I don't know if I can do it. White tights. I don't know. White shoes. Angel <laughs> going to dress in her Sunday best church hat. We want to come down oh, to the, to the so hut. Hot. Josh, full suit. What? To I here. Wait, I didn't say it. Hold on. What? We going to come. We going to respect the dress code. We going to okay. go above and beyond. All right. Well, I'll go I'm, above and beyond. But it, the fool better be slapping. And y'all better or deliver if not, on the leg. If not, they going to see my phone. They going to see a bunch of things they didn't ask for. A bunch of things they don't want to see. They gonna, The fool better be slapping or bra straps is coming out. <laughs> Uh, Angel, you had a rhyme right there. Food better be slapping or bra straps is snapping. It was right there. I wasn't trying to rhyme, but don't but you're worry. you're a rapper. I am. I am. But right now I am my host. I oh, am. Oh, yeah. Turkey leg hut. I'm dead serious. Listen. I will go to K&G and get the finest Steve Harvey collection, Magic Johnson Essentials. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you know my mama got some church hats, some big ones. Oh. She got the ones that the aliens can see. Listen, we saw some pictures at Mama Dorothy's house. Oh Let man, wait till the food show. I, I ain't even gonna spoil you, but seeing Mama Dorothy in all her glory, 
And the, like the picture she took and she was proud of, I said, the Angel didn't have a chance. She's a didn't. pastor too, right? And she oh, was a she pastor was a at pastor. the time. Yes. Angel was destined to be who she was. Mm-hmm. Yes. She come your... from a woman who is Angel in back in time. Oh, I And then Angel's say, grandma. Oh, my grandmother was a hoe. Y'all wonder why I got this dirty mouth? My grandmother, Dorothy Lee. Y'all wonder why I am such a big personality? I am a watered down version of Dorothy May. Your, wait, your mama's name is Dorothy and your grandma is Dorothy too? And I was supposed to have been born around my mother's birthday. I would have been Dorothy as well. Oh, Angel, I mean, Dorothy. That chick Dorothy? Dorothy? <laughs> that chick Dorothy. <laughs> that chick Dorothy. That like don't have the same ring. It doesn't. And I said, thank God I was two weeks late. That chick Dorothy, yeah, ain't gonna, that Patreon's Angel's not gonna flap. Like no, <laughs> what y'all gonna do, Angel Wings? What y'all gonna be if y'all the Dorothys? The Dorothy Are we gonna Wings? have Toto? <laughs> that would we have a little dog would be our thing. We want to go home. I call you Dottie. Dottie. Wait, is Dottie people's name Dottie, Dorothy? Yaddy, yaddy, yes. Yaddy. I didn't know that's what I didn't know uh, yeah. that was her name. Yeah, all Dotties are Dorothy's. But yeah, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. It was either going to be Angel or Hope. Oh, Hope. Yeah, I'm glad it was Angel. Listen, yeah. we was talking about this the other day. Our parents, our grandparents' generation, they heard of May and Jean, mm. and they was like, everybody Everybody get it. get it. Pearl. Oh, I mean, my Ruthie Jean and my grandma... Uh, May. We said with May, Jean, there's another one that was all the uh, middle names. There's a lot of Hesters and Esthers, too. Esther is, was big. Yeah. But as far as middle name, they took in Ed, Edna May, Lee. It was Lee. Yeah, Dorothy Lee, Dorothy Lee, May. Lee, May, and Jean, it was all them black women from when our grandparents was, was children. Mm. That was going to be their middle name. Listen, that's why my imaginary daughter that my husband never gave me, her name was going to be May Leah. Well, her middle name, because I was like, we just going to put the May and the Lee together. But my husband couldn't make a daughter because, I don't know, maybe he wasn't taking his vitamins. Maybe he wasn't taking his ritual. Maybe he wasn't. And that's why I couldn't have a daughter. But now he's taking his ritual. However, he has a vasectomy. So... <laughs> I don't know if it'll work now, but listen, ritual is what you want to be taking if you're trying to make a baby. If you're trying to make a Lee or a May or a Hesto or a Dorothy or a Barbara Jean, <laughs> you want to take your ritual, okay? Because we all deserve to take vitamins that we know are uh, what's actually in them. So ritual, you guys, listen, they are amazing. They are high quality nutrients, all right? And bioavailable forms that your body can actually use, okay? There's no sugars, GMOs, major allergens, synthetic fillers, artificial colorants, plus the, it's the fresh, it has a fresh taste and delayed release capsules designed to make taking vitamins easy. I don't know about y'all, but some of these vitamins, I remember when I was pregnant. And I used to have to take prenatals and them things. You might as well have had me swallow the baby. Like they were huge. They tasted disgusting. Okay. Ritual was like, we got these good tasting vitamins. Mm -hmm. Well, fresh tasting so that you're not over there gagging. And it's delayed release so that you're getting the most out of your um, vitamin. Now, let me tell you. Multivitamins. They are a necessary thing because we have so many gaps in our nutrition. Our soil is depleted. So even if you are eating all the vitamin, not vitamins, but vegetables and fruits that you're supposed to, our, our food doesn't have the same type of um, nutrient uh, makeup as it did back in the day when we used to grow food during the season it's supposed to grow. Now we just be growing food all year long, all right? All year long. So it, it's vitamin depleted. So you need to take a multivitamin to help fill in those gaps. And you want to take a multivitamin that has the best ingredients. You want to take a multivitamin that has a delayed release so your body can actually absorb everything. So you want to take Ritual. And it's now available for women, men, and teens and it's scientifically developed to help support different stages in life. Ritual makes healthy habits easy, and they're delivered to your door. And you can stop, stop, snooze, or cancel your subscription at any time. It's free, free shipping always, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you don't love Ritual within your first month, they will fund your first order. So this is what we want you to do. Get key nutri- nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during their first month. By visiting ritual.com slash crew. Crew. 
Again, that is ritual.com slash K R E W. Okay. We want you to start your ritual today. But you know what? You can't take vitamins on an empty stomach. You got E. That's why we're like, hello, fresh. Where you at? They here. <laughs> they here and they got a deal for you. Y'all, we didn't talk about Hello Fresh so many times. Joshy Gons, he be using Hello Fresh. He's oh, yeah. he's just a bachelor. Ah! Looking for some vittles. And he's <laughs> able to get it <laughs> from Hello Fresh. Let me tell you, trying to eat home cooked meals can be a pain in the butt when you mm-hmm. think about having to go grocery shopping. When you think about, okay, now I've been trying to have a hot girl summer, but I didn't, I didn't ate up everything. I want to eat something that's of quality, okay? And then you're like, but I also am not trying to spend all my goddamn go money at the grocery store. Hello, you fresh. Ain't angel. And they take your money every time. Every, every time. time. I don't understand. You it's think crazy. One time you're like, hey, man, take these groceries. You've been so loyal to us. You don't why. Mm-hmm. But HelloFresh said, listen, we ain't going to have you wasting your food because we're only going to give you enough to make the meal that you want. Okay? Yes. And we're going to give you a meal that you want because we got our chefs in here doing chef inspired meals. Okay? So it's going to be tasting amazing. Okay? And the ingredients are super fresh. And I love it. it everything comes in a box. And you have these recipe cards, right? And it shows you what the meal is supposed to look like at the end. Yep. And it gives you step by step. Mm-hmm. Everything's already pre-measured. Okay, so you're going to be able to make the meal that's on the picture. Because, you know, sometimes you be trying to just make stuff out of recipe book. And you realize, I bought the wrong thing. This thing said um, ginger, uh, uh, garlic powder. And I got garlic salt. That mm-hmm. ain't the same thing. It ain't Hello, taste fresh. Right. You ain't going to worry about that. Because we got you all the ingredients in the box. Okay, and... There's a wide variety of easy, delicious options for all three meals of the day, plus uh, every snack and special treat in between within the HelloFresh market. HelloFresh high quality, fresh ingredients are sourced directly from growers delivered from the farm to your front door in under a week. Contact free of course and um, they also use uh, nutritionist experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. Mm. So um, a uh, green chef is also now owned by HelloFresh, and with a wide array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. Um, and I love being able to switch between the brands. And now our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with us. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let me tell you more. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 14SK. 14SK. And use the code 14SK. 14SK. For up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. I'm going to tell you one more time because I want you to listen to this. I want you to write it down and I want you to go there, okay? Go to HelloFresh.com slash 14SK. 14SK. Use the code 14SK. 14SK. For up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I just I choked on that. Free shipping. Mm. Hello, Fresh. America's number one meal kit. In other news. What is it? Uh, Rachel Nichols. I don't know if you're familiar with her, Angel. Uh, I am big sports fan, and she is often uh, covering sports. Right, I'm going right, to try right. and give you this story as succinctly as possible. Essentially, what happened is Rachel Nichols is a Huahite woman, Huahite, mm. who is openly like uh, openly supportive Huahite. of the black. Oh, okay. People, uh-huh. right, mm-hmm. uh, and has been for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, um, well, as we tape this, we're taping this on Monday, um, a New York times article came out and, uh, let's just say she was less than supportive behind closed doors. By the way, what happened was the video that she did, uh, that was leaked was, um, her basically beginning of the beginning ish of the pandemic. Uh Uh-huh. Her Zoom camera was left on. Mm. Okay. Mm. No. She was talking to another Waihite mm. man about a woman named um, Maria Taylor, who is a black woman uh-huh. and another reporter. And can I read what she said? Yeah. I'm tr- can you read it? Uh huh. Oh, please read it. And, and, you know, I already know. Please, please read what she said. Okay. I think this is, uh, let me see. I think this is what the part it's her in quotes. 
I yeah. do believe. Uh huh. She said this July of 2020. I wish Maria Taylor all the success in the world. She covers football. She covers basketball. If you need to give her more things to do because you're feeling pressure about your crappy longtime record on diversity, which, by the way, I know personally from the female side of it, like, go for it. <laughs> Just find it somewhere else. You're not going to find it from me or taking my thing away. That was great. Oh, thank you. They, I, I have visited the Isles of Wahite many of times. I have <laughs> studied the dialect. You've got to hold that chin back some. <laughs> so, uh, interestingly enough, Rachel Nichols has not been punished that we know of yet. Mm -hmm. But a black woman, uh, Kayla, I don't know her last name. Kayla, what's her first name? She basically recorded the Zoom and passed around ESPN. Of course. Right. She's like, boop, aha. Right. What say now? She was disciplined. I think she was suspended without pay for a period of time. I can believe that, yeah. Uh, so people were up in arms. Black uh, athletes had been refusing to work. This happened last year, by the way. Mm -hmm. But it just leaked. The whole article stuff just came out this week. And here's what black people be saying. Here's, here's why diversity initiatives put black people at a in a bad pos position. Rachel Nichols never thought Maria Taylor is better at her job than I am. Mm -hmm. She could not be getting it because of her skill or her mm -hmm. hard work. If you're giving her a job, it's because she's black. Mm -hmm. and this is where black, this is why affirmative action, even though historically affirmative action has benefited white women more than any Anybody other else. Mm -hmm. person or group ever. <clears throat> really? Yes. White women benefit more from affirmative action than anybody else. Mm -hmm. When black people get stuff, it's not because of our merit. It's because affirmative action or diversity pushes, things like that. By all accounts, Maria T uh, Taylor is no snob. Uh, no snub. She is great at her job. Great on camera. Great with athletes. All this stuff. But it never crossed her mind. Hey, man, she's just better than me. Mm. Oh no, me? You gonna take my stuff away? <laughs> Find another way. <laughs> Find another way. And listen, it's so interesting. Like I'll, I'll tell you, I I really haven't dealt with this in a while. I ain't gonna hold you because my last couple jobs have been basically for a black company, and then my own company. Mm -hmm. Um, but when I was working at Boeing, oh boy. You think they didn't give me the um, you're only here because a black woman was looking for black people? Um, treatment. look, huh? They give you treatment. That treatment, yeah. And I was a terrible employee, so I know they were probably like, See, this dog on diversity and inclusion initiative is terrible because I was over there watching YouTube videos, so I didn't really help the black race that much. But, <laughs> <laughs> but Mar Maria Taylor doing her job. And it's just like, man, that, just enough. No lie, I kid you not. And then I want to hear your thoughts. When we was down at the hotel we was at over the weekend, we was on the oh. veranda. We was on the balcony. The restaurant was on the balcony. And we were loud and black. Very loud. Mind you, it was outside. Yes, it was. Okay, outside. And black yeah, people, yeah. our natural, in my opinion, our, our speaking voice, our, our group is always a little more boisterous mm -hmm. than uh, other people. That's why magicians, David Blaine, he doing his tricks for black people. Because he wants to get all of the surprise. What? The, why you do it? <laughs> Nigga, how you do it? Let me see. Let's do it again. Nigga, watch his hand. Watch his hand. You know, you ain't going to get that from anybody else. They'll I be asked like, a professional magician, do you prefer black audience? He was like, yes. Man. We work hard on this stuff. We don't want this. We want, hold up. <laughs> hold you the devil, ain't you? Right. How you did that How there? You do it. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> Same thing in comedy. Black people, when we laugh, listen, we laugh. We give it all up. We give it black church. Mm -hmm. We are lit. Yeah. That's why them doggone TikTok creators was like, please show us how to do the Megan <laughs> the Stallion dance. <laughs> please. What were they doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I was able to do that one. I was if like, you don't, don't show us, we won't know. Right. But anyway, so we was loud and we was, I mean, I'm talking about, we was buying the food. 
mm-hmm. eating, drinking, and being married. They didn't know what to do. And we tipped well. Listen, we the people looked at the tip. The waiters came back to me. Sir, hello. Hello. We are just, just waiting. <laughs> Why? Releases. You are is everything. Are you? Because you know when we go. I'm, uh, listen, I know mm-hmm. we ask for a lot, but when your work is done, I ask for my burrito you, eight times. You gonna be like, so oh my! Then I had to goddamn go about make Josh's burrito. I was like, y'all ain't gonna let this. Y'all ain't gonna let my baby be over here hungry. He got so much work to do. He be recording all this and editing, and y'all ain't gonna feed him. And then people still got tipped. And they were so wrong. there was an old white Hites there, right? And we was deep. And mind you, okay, we were at the Ritz. We were at one of the Ritzes in L.A. I was like, I don't know why you keep yeah, we're not we're, still we're there. We're at the Ritz Laguna <laughs> Beach. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't want to get into the bad habit. We're at the Ritz Laguna Beach. Just the uh, Ritz Laguna Nagel, check. whatever. It's not cheap. We are the only black people in the entire hotel. In the whole I didn't hotel. I not see the there either. Yeah. No, no black or well, brown no people there. No, no black people on the beach who are not related to me or my friends. Yes. In the whole area. So we down there, about 10, 15 of us in the place eating, laughing. We got kids, iPads, mm-hmm. dancing. We doing, shoo. Oh, we ain't doing that. No, no we're not. <laughs> so then uh, a couple of our friends come later. And this is I had just stepped out. And apparently this old white man, probably 80 years old, he goes, oh, another one? And Mel another goes, one. excuse me? And his wife, who's like 65, is like, I think she heard you. And he was like, oh. So oh, like somebody would have you been didn't dead. tell me this. Yeah, Angel I know you weren't there yet. I wasn't there either. This is before I got to this uh thing. Yes, and you know Mel pregged out, but she ready for. I want the smoke. Oh, so the apparently smoke the white woman it. left within thirty seconds. You got dang right. She, she should have. Check please. The blacks heard us. He he's racist. He and let me tell y'all what. If you've never been to L.A., Orange County is MAGA. Country. Oh, when that's, you all that's Florida. left, that's our Florida. When you all left on whatever that day was, Sunday. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, me and Marcus stayed to drink another mimosa. There was a dude who came. His uh, because it was Fourth of July. He had it said uh, guns, something, and Trump with a big American flag on it. That's right. It's and, the fourth. And he didn't even like. He's definitely of European descent, but he looks our like Armenian or yeah. something. Of, and I want to be like, they don't like you either. <laughs> just FYI, <laughs> you just passing by. You just passing by right now because we here. Blanket. I don't think he he supports it. He might have just been wearing it just to be like, hey man, we good here? <laughs> Shoot, no, <laughs> he was. <laughs> I was like, but yeah, no. Orange County is very conservative, very like, oh my gosh. Yeah. They have the gated communities to keep us out. Uh, and I go, de- listen, wherever I go, there I am. There I I'm be. I'm up in there and the waiters be like, because I, I don't know if you feel like this, Angel or Ja. When I tip, I feel like I got a tip for the whole black community as a whole. Like, I feel like I got to carry the weight. No, I okay. don't. No, it's I don't. Re- very much reflective of the service. Oh, yeah. How Is it? Y- oh, yes. yes. But if it's great, I'm going to leave a great tip. Though. Absolutely. Yeah. But if you are trash, you're going to know you were trash before I leave because I'm going to tell you. And then you will also see it by I am not giving you. <laughs> God bless Thank you. Thank you. Uh, which you would have hoped you would have gotten. Really? Unless my Absolutely. ego is tripped. Absolutely. If the the fact that I had to basically wait and watch them make his food to make sure he ate. Angel, let me tell you what. Angel is all of our mothers. She, yes. Josh was hungry. He had hungry I eyes. Parfait. Y'all were smacking. I now. mean, I'm glad I ate that parfait. I had eaten. I think twice. Josh was just still sitting there like a little orphan. They, I was like, because I was worried. I was like, now listen, if y'all treat him bad because he's a Latinx, I will burn this whole place down. <laughs> he is a growing boy. But I was like, oh, and they were they kept saying, oh, it's about to be out. No, it's not. No, it's not. Stop lying to me. <laughs> they brought out four other of the City Girl burritos, whatever that one was called, before yes. they brought that monarch out. I was hurt. I was just like, uh, uh-uh. uh. So yeah, stuff like that. No, you're not about to get no big tip for me. If I'm, I mean, I don't starting, give him a big tip, but I always feel like I, mm-mm. I probably very rarely, if ever, I very rarely, if ever, give less than twenty. Never really give less than twenty percent. Never give Uber drivers or Postmates people less than five stars. Never give twenty percent. I always feel like it's somebody else's fault. If you give me bad service, you will get a tip, and that will be change professions. Unless my ego is in pride is tripped. 
then I might be like, you know what? I'm going to kill you with kindness. Yeah. And then I, that might be the only instance. But listen, like, in my life now, there's a, there's a tide shifting in me. Mm-hmm. I used to let everything slide. Mm-hmm. I used to let people, mm-hmm. you know, talk cash crazy as my good mm-hmm. older uh, 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 other cousin here tells me. Now I feel like you let people slide too much, they be slid. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They be slid. So there's no sliding with Listen, me. Listen, I, I, I wish, I wish I would have heard or been in within earshot of an old white man saying another one. I would have sat at his table. You? We, we, oh, we would we have a conversation finna get about it. real close. Please, let's discuss pop, another pop. one. We finna knock this hip out of socket. Uh-huh. This is going to be the last <laughs> time you, you hobble on back over to your room. Oh, yeah. No, we would have had a whole conversation. Please explain to me another one. Let's talk D- about this. Did you see DJ Khaled in this hotel? <laughs> Are you singing a DJ Khaled song? Because there seems to be a lot of you all. Yeah. A nigga. <laughs> We're the ones that should be like, another uh, one. They, I mean, they they're just, everywhere. My lips are full out here. They're just everywhere. The that, 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 that woman said, I think she heard you as if she wasn't standing there. I would have made sure she had a heart attack. At that table. And I Melissa, want oh, to get your blood pressure up. Not a heart attack. A whole heart attack. I want you to be so scared to ever whisper because you you think I'm a show up. You think I'm a pop up. <laughs> show up yes. on time. If there be anyone who's going through, see Angel. We, we have the answer for you. Yes, for Trust you. Trust and obey. Okay. Yes. And, and never give in. Only the strong. Only the strong shall survive and win. Just ask the question and the answer shall come. Spread this, spread this, spread this, spread this. There is no one. Better, better. Show up on time. And you know what will show up on time is if you ship station to ship out yes. your packages. Oh, oh, come hey, on hey, show up. Hey, show up. <laughs> hey, 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 show up. Now, listen, guys. <laughs> if there be any merch that's that shipping you, through you, you ship station. She we have the answer for you. For you. Ship station is the answer, y'all. Yeah. Get discounts on. <laughs> UPS and USPS. <laughs> yes, you guys. There is so much stuff happening here in the uh, Kev on Stage Studios world with uh, Fake uh, Deep, with uh, Mama Likes, and all of the merchandise. And what we are all using is Ship Station because we have so many different channels in which we are selling our merch. So it is important for us to be able to streamline and make sure we get our products to you all in a timely fashion. While also, we need to be having the discounts to be able to ship you all stuff because. It's costly to fulfill all of these orders, right? And ShipStation is like, we got you, boo. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry worry about about it, sweetheart. sweetheart. Okay? And so basically what ShipStation does is it takes all of your uh, merchandise channels right so if you're uh, shipping from or have people purchasing merchandise from your website from etsy from amazon ship stations like we don't want you to have to search to figure out oh did somebody place an order here did somebody place an order here they're like no just come to us and we're going to tell you and we're going to make sure that you're able to fulfill these orders in a timely manner while also giving you some really great discounts on postage and carriers because you're a small business, so it's hard to be able to get those type of discounts. But ShipStation is a large business, and they're passing the savings on to you. That is why ShipStation is the number one choice for online sellers. You can import orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier using ShipStation's deeply discounted rates, and automate just about any ship shipping task. No wonder over 100,000 online sellers choose Ship station all right <laughs> okay um yeah so it it definitely let me tell y'all postage be a lot okay so that is one of my favorite things about ship station is because you do need the discounts it is a it's hard mm-hmm. you have a lot of overhead when you are a business owner and i know a lot of you all who listen to here's the thing are entrepreneurs 
And so whenever you can find a discount to help reduce that overhead so that you can put more of your money into the quality of your product, you want, listen, listen, if one of these little things Sorry. interrupt this ad give one me, more time, give me. Give I'm going to whoop him. Uh, <clears throat> You want to be able to uh, to definitely take advantage of it. And y'all know we got something for you because you are a here's the thing listener. Mm-hmm. Ship more in less time for less money. Just use our offer code CREW, CREW. to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, then type in K R E. W K R E W. That's shipstation.com. Enter offer code crew. crew. Make ship happen. Make ship happen. I could not remember as much as many times I've sang that song. I cannot remember where, because you know what? The show up on time. Why? Because it's so many, it comes in and goes out so many times. It's not yeah. like a regular, mm-hmm. regular right. rhyme or reason. I was like, yep, we have the. <laughs> For you, for you. For you. <laughs> Just let me sing a whole verse. Why we got to keep doing this stopping and going? Yeah. But yeah, it worked out. Show up on time, ship station. We're so about anyway, uh, Rachel's going to have a tough time. Mm. It's really not surprising to anybody black. Uh, we be knowing that. We be thinking that. And that's honestly, man, this is part of the reason why I have worked so hard to build Kev on Stage Studios. And why I I want it to work so bad. Mm-hmm. One thing you said, and you said it offhand, and it just it just meant the world to me. I ain't I ain't let on. When you said, you know, I ain't gonna be acting as much, so I'm a I'm gonna dye my hair and put my nose ring in. And I said, you know what? <laughs> because you black people, we have to. We said that when you said that, we have to pre- appear the way white people want to see us to book roles. Mm-hmm. It's just the way. Yeah, it is. They are the most of the time. It's their shows. They're the casting directors, producers. Mm-hmm. That's 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 how it's decided. Um, but with the Kevin on Stage Studios app, it is and and content. We can be who we are, mm-hmm. and I think that is you are at your best when you are allowed to be your whole self. Mm. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. My my manager, who's a white gay male, love him to death. That is exactly how he feels. He's like, I don't want anyone to ever try to. Um, alter you he was like because you are special as who you are mm-hmm. he was like so anytime I'm, I do a role and he, he feels that I'm having to like really switch and tone down he's like no I want them to let you do you yeah. because that's where you're going to be the most successful so I do appreciate that with KOS I get to be me in all of my you know stupidity and all of my glory and all of my uh, foolishness because it is a blessing to be able to do and not a lot of people get that not even in the acting world, in the regular nine to five world, a lot of people are having to turn into someone else oh. to be able to keep their job. And sometimes that's not even enough. You like, I didn't tap dance for y'all. I didn't became this person to make you all feel more comfortable about paying me. Mm-hmm. And still you all don't recognize that like, I am good. I, I do my job well. Yes. And the thing with this, um, woman Nichols um the problem is is that when people and um yes she's a woman so she has faced pr- prejudice I'm not trying to say that but whenever things aren't as easy for them and they see someone else been being given what they think is a handout they're like oh so you because you're you all are terrible at diversity you want to take from me now listen there might be some merit of that because they could take it from a white dude you know what i'm saying but yet and still if you if you can't recognize that you have uh benefited more than this black woman Mm -hmm. that's a problem if all you're thinking about is yourself and you can't realize like yeah okay yes there are probably tons of men that they could take jobs from instead of you white lady yeah but if you can't see that like she's not in a better position or better off than you it's 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 not it's uh, just because she's getting a job because she's talented or even if she's getting a job before she's black because she's black because i am not against that i will hire someone because they're black and not feel no type of way because white people hire folk because they're white 
And if we try to play like that's not happening, then we just we just all lying to ourselves mm. all yeah. the time. They are hiring folk because they are white because they feel more comfortable around them. They feel like they can understand what's going to happen sooner. They feel like they can be themselves and not have to if they say oh another one mm -hmm. this white person won't get mad at them if they say mm -hmm. oh there's another black person because they're like you feel the same way you felt like there was you felt that you felt that whole black people are too loud i can be this way with you that's why i hired you a white person <laughs> i can't say that in front of a black person or a person of color i have to actually have some moral sense yeah. about my mouth yeah so anyways that was just my little, because uh, I didn't say anything about it before. I just was like, mm-hmm, yeah. No, yeah. no, I agree. And I think, honestly, I'm going to pitch the app here. Let me tell y'all. Let me just let me just tell y'all. I Single me out, Josh. The Kev on Stage Studios app. If you don't have it, get it. Patreon people, we love you. You're watching this early because you have it. Y'all are creating the space for angels, the angels and the quins and the the sincere's, the black people in Hollywood to be themselves. I don't want y'all to ever think that y'all money is not used wisely. People's livelihood depends on it. Mm -hmm. um, we are shooting right now three, three shows, mm -hmm. four shows. We are shooting season two of the challenge show. Mm -hmm. We are shooting the food show. Mm -hmm. We are shooting Melissa's dating show. And we're also semi production on the improv show while we're on tour, while we're doing the podcast. And the reason we always have the energy for that is because we know who our audience is. We know that, you know, I, I got this idea for a commercial, like when you're black and you go to the grocery store or Walmart or target, there's the ethnic aisle for hair care products. Mm. Usually, usually not even an aisle. It's a, like a, it's like, it's like a little oh, nook. It's a nook mm -hmm. at the end of the, the aisle, right? The rest of the world is that aisle. And black people, y'all have black people, y'all have this row. You better get your sporting waves, your Sally's beauty supply, your rat tail comb from right here. The Kevon Stage Studio is if the whole store was that section. Mm -hmm. It's it's going to spread the whole gamut of yes, all of our yes, stuff, yes. it's like the difference between going to um, uh, Target for your stuff or Sally's Beauty Supply. When you go to Sally's, you, you all that stuff is in there, and that's what we're building here. So y'all, y'all just keep on keeping on. You know, we probably going. Um, y'all ain't gonna hold you up. This, you know, what I'm saying, been toying with this idea. We probably gonna have to up the uh, price on the app just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, because let me tell y'all what I found out. Apple and Google, they take they a lot. Their money. They take half. They take a lot. We get five ninety nine. When we get it from Apple, it's three ten. <laughs> and the way the people who built the app set it up, they were like, "Oh, y'all gonna get five dollars per thing." We like bet that's from them. Mm -hmm. Nobody buy it from them. Mm -hmm. I said three ten. Yeah. How am I supposed to pay all these people and pay for all that stuff with three ten a person? <laughs> three ten. It was like you need more people then. Mm -hmm. So listen, y'all, uh, believe in it now, and y'all are really the first. Like that's y'all are really crazy. Like y'all believe ones, in the day dream. Ones. Day ones, mm -hmm. man. I'm talking about y'all believed in it before anything new was even shot. Yeah. Y'all was like, I got you, Kev. Mm -hmm. We don't know what you're going to do. And then, you they know, did. when we got it, y'all was like, okay. Yeah. But, you know, we, we competing with people who have literally billions. Yeah. Like, we're competing for the same dollar that Netflix has. And they have well, they Netflix got, they got content money budget. Isn't theirs. Is a, oh, my God. They have debt. They are a public traded company. Six billion dollars in content alone Man. a year. Ah, uh, it's gonna be nice. You know when we, we see do that number. Well, we're gonna see a number that looks so similar to that, and it's gonna be great. Man, I and listen, I'm we listen. We have to make it work. We will. It's too important to to the culture of black people. We don't want Angel to take the nose ring out. <laughs> that's my goal dye your hair however you want get a septum piercing ah! 
Don't take the notes. Oh, I should go ahead and get it today. I wasn't able to get it the other day. Oh, but get we'll, it, Angel. I'm going to make Melissa come with me to get her piercing, too. She was going to get it. Yeah. You take it out, I'm going to be like, I failed her. <laughs> I, my, I, want, I want you to get so much. I want you to get so much work <laughs> from this that when they're, and it ain't only through us, mm-hmm. when they book you, it ain't going to be no conversations about that no more. Amen. It's going to be like, you know what, Angel? Mm-hmm. Here's the role and here's the offer. Here's the offer. The judge would wear a nose ring. The we, judge we feel would like <laughs> that. I want them, when they book you, I want them to make concessions. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what? I, I could see a black judge with red hair. Yeah, yeah. You know, would she twerk during a murder trial? Absolutely. Possibly. Possibly. Objection. Would she twerk when she said objection? <laughs> That's how you she know figuring things out. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. that's my goal because i told y'all and i told angel my goal is never to hold you uh, I is, no it, is it not jeff is adding dates as we speak that's to the just t- to help you <laughs> it is that, and i appreciate I, it but when they come calling when tony went on tour i was like man go cool. baby cool. i don't want to follow you no more it gets harder and harder every year <laughs> but no seriously i want you to get the the whole deal I want you Thank to put two you. other comedians on. If they came and called her and said, hey, man, we're going to make the, the black version of Bridesmaid or we're going to make uh, League of Their Own, but the black women, and we want you to star, hey, w- when can you shoot? No, can you give me two hours on two days. <laughs> can you give me two hours on one day? We shoot uh, the bonus with the main. <laughs> I'll yes, come down I'll to Tennessee. There. I'll be there. Because my goal ain't to hold you. It's to elevate you and then let the world see what I, I done seen appreciated kevin i do and that is why it is great to be an unruly cousin so we have a new couple of weekends we add <laughs> wait <laughs> we got an la show i'm just i'm just joking no you're not he's not, not he's laughing I'm but not he's not joking, joking at all no you definitely have the date in mind but it's I'm not, not joking in. uh no you're not <laughs> no you're not but let me tell you on the same token what did i tell you the first time you ever asked me to work with you Cause you were like, "What's your rate?" And I said, "Just being oh, paid yeah. for my babysitter." And you I was did say that I did, and I said, "I believe in what you're doing." You thought you was gonna work this show for free? I sh- I was like, "Okay, you need me to host? All right." I'll I do remember it. when I was telling Angel I wanted to give her um some ownership in the app for everything she brought. She was like, "Okay, well, you know, you got to take my salary from this from this." I said, "Oh, no, girl, what?" I did. I was like, "So you okay?" So. So that replaces what you're paying She's me. She's like, oh, I knew this conversation was coming. Yeah, I, I was just like, off. I was calculating. I was like, okay, I can still make it where I can still pay my bills. We serve the God of in addition. Hey! hey. hey. Come on. You paid for the regular room, but we're going to upgrade you to the suite. Mm, 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 we want mm. you to get what you get and don't throw a fit, mm. but we're going to give you more in addition. And I'm going to tell y'all, when it when y'all start seeing me on, on, on Deadline, and Variety and Hollywood Reporter, I want y'all to remember that you put me there. Yes, y'all did. Y'all, listen, the, the and this is a stage crew love letter. The best leverage that you can ever have is being able to say no. Mm. I got offered a role on a, on a network, on a, on a big channel, but it was not something I was interested in. Mm-hmm. And to be able to keep my wholeness mm-hmm. and know that I don't have to go and do stuff I don't want to do mm-hmm. that I don't agree with because the stage crew has supported in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that is a blessing. And that's why the angel be perfect. perfect. It's coming out. Let me tell you, you remember when I couldn't remember what God told me to tell to hear? And I was like, I got to yeah, piece yeah, yeah. it together. And he told me something as well. And regarding uh, you and why I'm here. What do you say, Angel? He said, it's not for right now. It's for the next thing. Mm, say more there, he Angel. Know. He was like, I don't know why he told me. He was like, You're, the reason you are working with Kev and the reason for, you know, K-O-S-S is not for the right now. It's for this next thing, That's uh, this next phase. He didn't tell me what the next phase was, but it's I was funny. just so like, here's funny. Huh? What? Well, you said this is for Terry or for you? No, it's this with for, this. No, what's funny, oh, I was going to say Transformation Church, Pastor Charles, because uh, Mike Todd, he just had that baby, so, you know. He's yeah, he got the, the lights can do with the mustache. Um, part of the message yesterday was while you're waiting for your dream, don't be afraid to help somebody else's. And I was like, Pastor Charles, say it again, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> 
It was very clear. He was like, it's this, y'all haven't seen it yet. It's the next thing. You think you're here for this thing. Mm-hmm. It's Wait, the who, God ne- was telling you that I'm about to hear. No. Who else? Talking about I thought you said God was telling I you. Said, about- you remember when God told me something about to hear, and I couldn't remember. He also told me something about oh. this. Oh, oh! I can you celebrate. Said- <laughs> I, I was happy with this for to hear. No, I that told to hear his. I had to piece it came back together. To you? Listen, pieces. I know God was frustrated was with like you. Girl, puzzle. I told you something, oh, man. and you had to you changed the diaper. And something, forgot what I something's said. moving and shaking, man. I was something. It was the pieces, but no. Then he told me that that was shorter, so I can remember. Tears was longer, and I was uh, like, should have wrote it down. We gonna be on these magazine covers together. Angel gonna be there with red. Josh is gonna be there. With- I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that that credit. Uh, like when I tell man. y'all, I feel it. It is something going to sell, something going to work. I, 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 I know it to be true. It, and if it, until it do, I'm going, I'm going to do stand up comedy two weekends, two weekends, <laughs> two weekends a month. How much? Kevin? You're a liar. <laughs> Don't sit here. After the Lord has talked all this I'm going to put my life on the line. I done risked it all once for uh for the first tour I didn't even got to risk it all no more Melissa's like let me tell you what you're not finna do she said look I see your ambition yes this is what she told me and I love her for it let me put a little something to the side give me a little bit put it to the side <laughs> yes. this don't exist no more so you can go out and be you cause she said I know you mm, you ain't never do. gonna stop so just for my peace of mind, let me take this out. And uh, you ain't, I know what account it's in, but I don't really know how to get into it. Yeah, like, stuff. How, where is it at? How do I find it? it? Here. Just let me get a little bit of something. Now you, with the rest of it, because she you ain't, She said last, to me last night, she said, the thing about you that I love, if it ain't working, you going to put it on your back and you go. <laughs> <laughs> you going to will it to work. Come on. And I'm telling you, man, oh, when it works. I'm going to be so happy, but it's going to mean so much to me that people believed before anybody. Mm-hmm. Because that that belief, the stage crew have, the, the page, they, man, let me tell you what. And now we over a little bit. My flight just got delayed. Did it really? It did. <laughs> the stage crew <laughs> Patreon <laughs> people, sick. y'all were the first. And that's why I'll be forever indebted. Y'all created the the initial round of financing mm-hmm. to they be create, able to create, no, they yeah. created the opportunity. They Damn. created the opportunity to bet on myself. Mm-hmm. They continue to create when I need to do business things. I can say, okay, when well, Patreon does this much, if I need to do something, I can shift and move mm-hmm. because I know Patreon, it don't really be going down. Mm-hmm. People often cancel to increase, mm-hmm. you know, some people cancel and they cancel. And I listen, Ain't I appreciate wrong you with that. You got to do. I love, love you. I, I listen. I know. I know what it's like, but they, they, they give last time I, for my birthday, I said, man, we got to put a new lighting set up in. They gave and gave. And I think they give because they know that I'm going to give it to. Mm-hmm. If I was hoarding on to that, I don't, people wouldn't, you know, do that. But, but to, to, to not have to solely rely on them. Cause if I could book a deal or two and then I could like really pay for it mm-hmm. on my own, but man, they're, they're gift. They're giving. Kev, how much, how must it feel to have so many people believe in the vision that the you Lord put in you? I ain't going to hold you angel. I don't take it lightly. I, it, there's two things that weigh heavy on me, but I, but it also is centering. Mm-hmm. It's the people's belief, right? Patreon belief and it's the people, literally, there are people who's, not not angel, we know you book. What? But there's people whose sole income is derived off of me. Angel told me all the time, mess up if you want. Because I got, I, it ain't all of my stuff, but you, listen, you're part of the equation. Nigga, I was about to say, nigga, please know <laughs> that uh, it is still one plus one equal two, and you got one of the ones. <laughs> okay? I don't want to go back down to one. I like and being listen, at a two. That's that's really, even when, when I dealt with, like, stuff that I wasn't used to, right? I'm going to tell you, it was very hard over the last year. Part mm. of my life I was not prepared for. When I think about my career, I never, you don't imagine the negative parts. Uh-huh, you imagine absolutely. the content you make, the stuff, you, your name on Sunset Boulevard. You don't imagine gossip YouTube right. pages. No, absolutely not. I was not prepared for my personal life to be content for someone else. Mm-hmm. I was I was not used to being that important. Mm-hmm. I always think back to pay, a Periscope. I used to be able to call a family meeting and say pretty much anything mm-hmm. and tell them it's going to be deleted and it wouldn't go past there. Mm-hmm. Shouts to the 95. Shouts to the 95. Big X 95. It wouldn't go down to the alley. So I was still keeping that mindset for where I was. Mm-hmm. Then I realized, oh, that some tectonic sh- plates had shifted. Oh, I have 100%. So I feel, you know, God always prepares you 
prior yeah. to yeah. the thing. So now I'm not going to be surprised by that. Good. Right? Because it, it was surprising the first couple of times. Mm-hmm. I said, oh. No, no. I know. But now I'm like, okay. When I was in Hawaii, this is a little related, making a video, then I sit down and enjoy Hawaii, and somebody walked up. Hello, Kevin. Thank you for posting that video. I came down to you. Now I see you. Now I see you with now my eyes. eyes. Well, I won't be doing that anymore. Yeah. And Melissa, before that, had told me most influencers po- uh, post shoot after. now, post later. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was like, man, I'm in, I literally, I was like, I'm in Hawaii. Obviously, you, you have fans. You don't you're have having touch. a show there, right. so you, it's sold out. <laughs> obviously, see, obviously, somebody who knows you lives here, right? Absolutely, wasn't clicking. I'm like anybody coming from Des Moines, and I were down here, but I needed to learn that lesson. Yeah, security, man, you don't need that. Somebody walked in the dressing room in Salt Lake City. Well, that's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Somebody walked up on me into here in the middle of the night in St. Louis, huh? Okay, now I I don't even fear for my life, but they ain't gonna catch me slipping. Mm-hmm. The club don't care. DC Young Fly people ran up on the stage. Gary Owen people ran up on the stage. Okay, well shoot, who out there looking out for me, man? DC got that thing too, man. Hey, hey DC got them hands. I am not as qu- equipped. <laughs> Kevin <laughs> D- had to slap him D- with listen, the first. I'm gonna hit you with this. Listen, <laughs> if my security don't catch you, I'm gonna hit you with the mic stand. You just gotta put your whole body. I'm, into a, it, I'm Kevin. gonna put two fifty on you and yes. uh, for my children. <laughs> no, there's a mo- there's a movie called Four Brothers. Andre Benjamin is in uh, it. He didn't want to be a part of the crime family. Yes, he had to kill somebody. He yes. stabbed him. He said, "And I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill you because I got to get home to my babies. I got to play spelunky with Joe. Yeah, he's gonna attack me away from my son. Come I don't on. even roll like that. Yeah, but I'm I'm coming home mm. and I'm flying first class again." <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with the bottom of the mic stand. I'm still gonna make my flight. And then he's but Delta, to enough with the bistro box. <laughs> enough with the bistro box. Have they got rid of them yet? No. No. They still throw Lunchables at you with the beef jerky. Now that was such a disappointment. That's why the people flew with that uh, seafood. <laughs> no. oh, I meant to talk about that. That's I'm we'll gonna do for that. another day. Mm. But anyway, I gotta go. We gotta go. God bless you, Patreon. Uh, love you. God bless you, everybody. Even the patri- people who are not Patreon. Yeah, I God love you. you. Just, you know, it's like the further kids you have. <laughs> after the first moment, it's just never the same. It's not the You've same. You've had four. Uh-huh. The way you feel with little Marcus, I mean, the twins, it's like, oh. But that first one, I, ah. took, I took 700 pictures of Isaiah. Of Isaiah. When Joe was here, I was like, big, big. Got it. Been here. I don't know. People have 12 kids. Do you even remember the 11th name? Oh, no. Roderick, Roger, Reggie. <laughs> you know your name. <laughs> Get in the car. Uh, Patreon, I just love y'all more. And I can say that. I appreciate all the support, but Patreon, I love y'all more because y'all, ha- listen, I know the app, P- Patreon is top tier love. Mm-hmm. The app havers, top tier love is usually Patreon times two. Mm-hmm. Uh, and some people who were on Patreon then we got the app. But y'all are the most important people mm-hmm. because y'all believe before anybody believed. One day it's going to be popular to be like, man, I'm with this. Mm-hmm. But right now, it's just us. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Patreon, we love you. Uh, no bonus this week. No bonus this week. No I will bonus. be on a, a real vacation. No work. Wow. Uh, we'll be back next week. I'm not even doing, I, I thought about it. No. And I just. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm taking not a full on you. vacation. Toes out. Thighs out. Yeah, above man. the knee shorts. Lotion. All right, we'll see y'all. Don't God bless wait. you. Oh, you <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Just be hurt me a little bit that that Quentin Tarantino be writing nigga that much in Final Draft. He be saying it a lot too. Oh, he absolutely says it. No, 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 he does. Uh, he for sure. Uh, he for sure says Tove. it. I'm certain he says it. You can't write it that much and uh-huh. not say it. Uh-huh. He's out here like Hunter Biden. Nigga, 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 nigga. Um, I wonder. I, I think my favorite director is Christopher Nolan. Mm. I love him. Name something he's directed that he's I know. directed Inception, Memento, Dark Knight. Her all, favorite movie, Dark Knight trilogy of lighting. I, that's the only issue with me and Angel's friendship. No, she it'll doesn't always like be a thorn. Dark Knight, and you don't like uh, Iron Man two or three. <laughs> Most trilogy. people don't like those. The trilogy is amazing. It's amazing. You don't. You do like one more though. Like one more one. Iron Man 1, more than two or three. I've got to go back and watch. Iron Man oh, 1 was that. one of the few origin films that was a great movie. That you is actually film. what put, that's what catapulted the that entire was, whole MCU. Oh, movie. I agree. That was the first linchpin. Mm-hmm. Oh, I agree that it catapulted. 
the Marvel Universe. Absolutely. And they need to give more respect to Blade. I mean, it wasn't part of the MCU, but that's one of the best Marvel movies. Bring they they talk about it like it ain't a Marvel movie. Bring Blade back. Because it was, af- I mean, it was, It didn't catapult. Like- no, they didn't know what they did. They had already sold X-Men and, and uh, Spider-Man off. They didn't have the vision to, they to kick off the MCU. There we go. They but did they not brought have in vision. vision. Right. They yeah. Okay, the, fa- the craziest thing that Marvel pulled off is is starting the MCU after they had sold their best franchises. Because mm. niggas was not rocking with Iron Man like that. Or Spider Man. Yeah. No, Spider Man they were. They were. Come I'm on, Josh. not trying to give Toby the benefit of the doubt. The, Those I, movies I'm not talking about. I mean, that's what they, they made they crazy sold bread, though. That's they sold that to Sony. They sold X Men to Fox. And uh, and then they were like, okay, who we got? Uh, Iron Man, right. <laughs> Captain America, Who's Thor. Because when we was kids, it was. That X Men cartoon was, Those that was the cartoon. Ah, uh, oh. you was already wearing a white diamond. You ain't had time to sit I, up no, and watch cartoons. I was watching Thundercats. I was watching He Man. I was watching. That a was lot. before those. X Men was more. See, I was in middle school, so you probably were beginning On college school, or you were graduate still school. Watch, okay. Yes, but I, I played with toys. And you were gonna, be, you were gonna be mad at <laughs> me. No, I played with toys. But yes, I was grown by middle school. What are you talking about? I was paying this taxes was me when I was twelve. <laughs> Literally, I kid you not, I would come home by myself because I was first home. Remember, we had keys. Yes. Come home by myself, look around at two thirty, and be like, <laughs> no. I had rehearsals. What are you talking about? Playing? What were you rehearsing for in middle school? Plays yeah, and concerts and what? What have you? Was you? Down at the the down library. Junked the uh, this junked <laughs> the Jew joint singing, smoking, drinking. Really like Iron Man two and three. Two you know, is with Mickey Rourke, right? Yeah. And like three is uh, not Val Kilmer. Uh, Guy Ritchie. Don't have me lying to you they, about they, names, but yes, the one that dude. it was about the guy who's on fire. Yeah. And Gwyneth got to fight. And that's when he made a hundred Iron Man suits. Yeah. yeah. And they Remote were just control. Oh, oh and God. one tripped. That one was funny. <laughs> <That> was funny. <laughs> was funny. They were so bad. They, they were, weren't so bad. I could see them. I give you that. Dark. I was like, with dark. It's night, called the like, dark night. It's called the light night. I, it should have been called cataracts because I was like, <laughs> I can't see. Should be called tunnel vision. <laughs> right. I was like, is this bird box? Are we pull? Is that what it is? <laughs> We're just supposed to We're hear. Sandra. <laughs> We're just supposed it was to dark. hear. He never fought crime at three. If you wanted to beat Batman, rob them at three o'clock. Says, that man is that nowhere to be found. I would be like, God, why criminals City, are where killing him? Where is your LADWP? Your, your <laughs> utilities, y'all shouldn't be paying nothing because the lights are off. The, the mayor has not paid for the lights. They should have given them a stipend for conserving energy. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. If they had, they couldn't have solar panels because the sun don't shine. In Gotham City. They don't. It's always got overcast. Is it in Seattle? Because I know they got a, a overcast all the time. They do. They do. Gotham City. <laughs> then. And. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Fire. Uh, uh, uh. Here's another bang of fire. Uh, with my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.